everyone and welcome back to my channel so for today's video I am going to be doing an assumptions video which you will have saw on my Instagram so yeah I asked you all on Instagram if you had any assumptions about me and there was quite a few actually um, so I will go through them I've just done my bangs like this and I'm not sure how I feel about it because the one side always goes more like voluminous than the other side so anyway I'll get on with the video so I did actually screenshot them put the assumptions out the other day and then I'm filming today I'm using part natural lighting and part ring light so if it goes a bit dodgy then that's why so the first one is your favourite season is summer that is true um, I do like winter occasionally but I just get fed up of it like I'm fed up now with being cold and like it's always snowy and I'm just like Ugh, I just want it to go away <laughs> I just want some sun and I feel like when it's summer it just makes you happier doesn't it because you know the sun gives off happy vibes so yeah that's true another one is you don't like olives I didn't actually used to like olives but as I've gotten older, I do actually like them now. I tried them recently, to be honest. My mum bought some olives with like jalapeno in them as well. And they were delicious. <laughs> and then like for dinner, um, she's been making like a Greek salad with olives in. And yeah, I've really liked it. You know, your taste would change. But yeah, I didn't used to like olives. And now I do. You believe in manifestation? Yes. Um, I do, I'm kind of working on it at the moment. At first I was a bit like, mm, I don't really know what this is. But I have actually started journaling, you probably would have seen on my Instagram story. Um, I've got a journal for gratitude, which you literally write your reflections, your gratitude, challenges and then your goals for the day. And then I do have just like a normal notebook where I write how I'm feeling that day just kind of write down what I'm thinking or feeling so it's as a kind of like you're talking to someone but you're just not like you're putting it on paper you're closing the book and you're putting it away but I've been watching a lot of videos on manifestation I watch Cariad on here if you don't know who she is she's on TikTok as well but um she does a lot of manifestation videos and things like that so yeah i've been quite enjoying it and I, I think it's helping me to stay positive like something i do actually enjoy and also i will say my friend kate has started a channel where she's doing different small videos to do with inner growth that's what she's called it and she does a video each day i think she uploads each day and she also has a booklet that you can fill out and i've started it and honestly it's something it, it's like something really nice to do that's not just like sitting on your phone you download it and you can do it on google docs and fill it out i will link her channel down below and then the booklet is in the link um the link the description in her videos so you'll be able to do that and she has only just started out but i think it's really professional how she's done it so yeah go and check her out you prefer editing content over filming it <sighs> um i don't i don't think i do i like filming but to be honest it depends on the video like sometimes i'll film a makeup video and be like i don't i don't really want to do makeup on camera like sometimes i just want to sit and chat like this or yeah, just do something chill but like if I've got a really fun video idea and I'm like yes I'm gonna do that then I'll film it and then afterwards I'll be like oh, I filmed it but I don't want to edit it now Um, to be honest though my editing doesn't take that long I don't do any like fancy transitions or anything which I might try and get into but I did want to try I've got an itchy eye oh don't know what my makeup off. I did want to try Final Cut Pro, but it is really expensive. And I know on Final Cut Pro you do get better editing options. Like I always see editing things and I'm like, they look so cool where it's like a box around the screen. You know, like say when the video behind's paused, 
and then they put a screen over the top of them talking. I really like that kind of thing. And then they have like a phone where you can put like as if there's actually a phone on the screen. But you, I don't think you can do stuff like that on iMovie. That's what I use. I think it just depends really. I would say for now that I do enjoy filming over editing just because obviously editing's all like takes longer and it's just more technical whereas filming you can just talk and then be done with it but <laughs> obviously you then have to edit it so yeah. The next one is you actually hate doing full glam, you prefer doing simple wearable makeup. Um, I do at the moment, like this is quite simple. Um, I like doing full glam for Instagram looks but this is like what I usually wear, like I just kind of do everyday makeup. I, at the moment I enjoy doing my skin more than like my eyes or anything which is weird. Um, yeah I enjoy using skin products like bronzer, foundation, I like trying out new ones. I don't know what it is, I've just kind of started to love doing skin products more so I don't do as much on my eyes for like normal makeup. But I do really enjoy like doing the Mama Mitchell looks, they are amazing and I do really enjoy creating looks like that um, and sometimes I'll feel really inspired doing them but yeah it just depends again on my mood <laughs> like sometimes I'll wake up and be like I don't want to do full glam today like I don't want to do makeup like yesterday I don't know if you saw but I did makeup on my hairdressing head from uni because I wanted to do it on somebody else not myself and obviously we can't so I did it on this like doll type head and it didn't turn out too bad to be honest I'll I don't know if I can insert a picture or video here I'll show you what it's like you prefer fashion over makeup I, this is a hard one because obviously I'm a qualified makeup artist so like I do really enjoy makeup it's like my passion um but i do have a passion a passion for fashion <laughs> i do have a passion for fashion as well so i think it's kind of a bit of both i do try and tailor my content more to makeup because obviously that's what i do but then like say i've done a few tiktoks with like fashion and things um when i do online shopping i do actually tend to shop more for clothes and makeup but I think it's because I've I don't there's nothing I actually need yet in makeup. Like I'd just be buying it for the sake of it, even though I do want to buy the Made by Mitchell whole collection. But I think it's kind of a bit of both at the moment. I do enjoy, obviously, like we're not allowed to go anywhere, so I've been enjoying enjoying buying like matching loungewear sets and things like that. I just love loungewear. And there's things that I've bought recently that I just haven't been able to wear yet because we haven't been able to go out and I just can't wait to wear everything. Like Jamie bought me um, some knee-high boots for Christmas and I literally love them and haven't been able to wear them. So I'm really sad about that. Not an assumption but you are smashing it babes. <laughs> Thank you. I've had quite a few comments about this and I'm like really really grateful for it um I had a friend message me like a full-on paragraph you know who you are if you're watching <laughs> um she messaged me like a massive paragraph like saying how well I'm doing and how proud of me she is and I was just like I'm gonna cry but it's really nice when people actually message you and like tell you how well you're doing because I don't think you realise it until people actually tell you like wow you're actually doing really well and I think it's because we are in a pandemic and like most people would just be like a lot of people won't even get out of bed like they don't have the motivation so I think personally I'm doing all right <laughs> Um I'm trying to stay as positive as I can be obviously everyone's just really fed up now but we've got to do what we've got to do and yeah you prefer doing fun makeup looks over everyday makeup this is kind of similar to the last one uh, so I think again it's it's like on my mood like today some days I'll just want to be like 
I don't want to do makeup for Instagram today. I just want to do like the makeup I'd wear when I'm going out, like just a normal makeup. Um, but I do kind of like to do those types because yeah, I like to show off my skills. And obviously they, oh, this piece of hair is annoying me. And obviously like it does take time and effort and I do like to kind of do it as if it's like a job for me at the moment like obviously I can't do nothing at the moment but doing it doing a look like for Instagram or something just kind of feels as though it's my job for the day like it takes me like an hour and a bit maybe um, and then I'll take some pictures and then I might film a video so even though I'm not getting paid for it, I try and like see it as a second job to me. You don't always like the brands you work with, you just do it for exposure. Now I have, I've worked with one brand on Instagram. Um, and I did like, that. The, it was like lashes that they sent me. Um, and I did a paid partnership with them and I did actually really like the lashes, like they're really fluffy, I still wear them now. So I wouldn't do, I wouldn't work with someone if, I mean I don't get that many, but like I wouldn't work with someone if I didn't like their stuff because what's the point, like you want to be passionate about it. I always have like brands, like smaller brands like message me asking to be like an ambassador and stuff. I'm sure other people probably get this as well um, and I'll only do it if it looks genuinely legit because some of them are a bit like bit dodgy so I do double check if it is like a legit thing and I, I will actually get something like we'll both get something out of it so no I don't just do it for exposure <laughs> you have bad morning breath I wouldn't know ask my boyfriend I, d I mean I don't think so but I feel like everyone does don't they you pick your nose and um, doesn't everyone you are confident but in a good way I'd say I'm getting there. Comparing me now to me back in school, I have grown by like this much. Like it's ridiculous. Um, I was actually like looking back, I was so insecure in school and I cared way too much about people's opinions and being liked. I think that's like the thing in school, isn't it? Like it's just so different to real life and it's just not what it's about like you just you just don't you don't need to be liked by everyone but I'd say I am fairly confident now I don't think that I'm like the best thing in the world that I think that's what it means but in a good way like I like to tell myself that I am good at what I do so yeah I am you wish you hadn't gone to uni absolutely not I loved uni so much I wish I could go back right now actually <laughs> because it ended so abruptly with us being in the lockdown um because obviously like I did my last like final major project and my last assignments at the in, like when the lockdown started so I literally I haven't even graduated yet I was supposed to graduate last September and then obviously that got cancelled because it was still going on and then now it got moved to March and then I think it's got moved to September this year so it's just a bit all over the place. I'll have to double check because I don't even know what day it is myself but no I did really enjoy uni and obviously it's give me the knowledge and skills for when I get another job Um, there's loads of stuff about makeup that I didn't know before I went to uni um like a lot of like hygiene health and safety things and just like new fr new terms that you use in the industry like it would be like it'd be kind of bad if I didn't know them so yeah I do no <laughs> I don't know I'm answering this I do wish I, I am glad that I went to uni basically the colour difference <laughs> you've had filler no I haven't had filler anywhere I haven't had any type of surgery or anything. Yeah, I haven't had anything like that. Um, I don't really, I'm not really that bothered. Like, I don't think I need filler. I don't really want it. Like, 
some of some of them like when I see I'm like oh that looks good but like I personally I don't I don't really want it like I just overline my lips <laughs> you want to do YouTube slash insta full time um I think that would be a great job to do like I think I would love that if I did it I'm just kind of seeing where life takes me like if it does end up that that happens then great but I don't want to throw away my makeup career so I do want to go into that even if I do get bigger on YouTube or Instagram so like I, I do want I kind of <laughs> my idea is for it to be part of my job so I want to be able to do this but also do makeup as well so I'm kind of like influencer slash makeup artist that would be great but also a dream of mine would be to work at Gymshark and do the makeup for the athletes because I'm a massive fan of Gymshark and obviously you might know that I also um, I have a passion for like fitness and the gym and stuff so that would be like a dream of mine to be able to do that so Gymshark hit me up. Um, you've had a pregnancy scare I wouldn't say I've had a pregnancy scare. I've had something where like when your period's late um, and you're a bit like... I have, I have took a pregnancy test but it wasn't... I suppose it is in a way, like yeah, in a way I have had a pregnancy scare but also I'm on the pill so it's kind of like... So I'll just say yeah I have. I've got one more and this is off my mum so thanks mum. You are stroppy when you need food. Yes, I am. I get hangry. <laughs> um, especially in the evening. Like, if I'm waiting a while for my food, that aggravates me. And then I end up snacking loads. People are probably the same that are watching this. But, yes, I am. So, that is the end of my assumptions video. I do really hope you enjoyed it. I did get a few juicy ones in there. Because... I did ask for them and you delivered <laughs> so yeah I will see you in my next video please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up because it does really help my channel uh, bye guys